Hey, my name is Heavens, and welcome to my Road to 5.6 Bill XP series. This is episode 3, Stealing Gains. This month the goal was simple, to achieve 200 mil thieving, and boy, did we really struggle with this one. But we'll get back to that later. For now, let's jump into the episode and join Heavens Soul at the various moments throughout the month of July, and see where we've got up to. Our month begins at the Rogue's Castle safes in Deep Wilderness. We're gonna be here for quite a while, but before all that, we got a new PC this month, and RuneScape and editing has become a lot smoother, and in between all the skilling that we do, the PVM experience has increased tenfold, some of which you will see later in this episode today. I just wanted to say, RIP to the previous one, that 200 mil Slayer plus Lockdown really aided in sending it off to an early grave. So, we started off the month quite strong, and we were making quick and easy work of the 92 mil thieving XP that we needed, and to kick it all off, we get 110 mil thieving XP. Like I said, we started off really strong and only a couple of days later we're already at 120 mil thieving XP. The heaven soul at the start of this month thought this is going to be easy. The heaven soul at the end of this month realised he bit off more than he could chew. A week into the month and we're beginning to struggle. Work and life somehow find a way to enable ever more XP waste. But don't get me wrong. This cause for XP waste was damn worth it. Nonetheless, just over a week into the month and we're now at 130 mil thieving XP. As with all the best laid plans, they always come undone. It's the middle of July and Jagex have only gone and announced another double XP event for 10 days between 7th of August and 17th of August. It's time to panic because we're not ready. We have a decision to make. Stop thieving and go all out on making money so we can fund some viable skills over the double XP period or continue with thieving and work with what we've currently got in the bank, which is not a lot. Ultimately though, we went for a compromise. Thieving during the day as we work from home in the lockdown pandemic, and then all out PVM in the evenings to try and fund some expensive gains. And with that, here's 140 mil thieving XP. If you remember back to episode one, we were still a few pets off Master of All title. Well that progress just got one shorter, as we finally got the thieving pet. We're now just two pets away from the title, prayer and fletching to go. I hope I can get the remaining two pets sometime soon, and I definitely hope we can get them before 200 mil XP in each of those skills. I am not a fan of training fletching. The new plan seems to be working, because this is 150 mil thieving XP, and it's just over halfway through the month. We got this, but we need to make some money. So as promised, here's a PVM drop montage of some of the highlights from this month, with only a couple of hours each night, and some bad luck with RNG. So, cue the musical montage.
So that was our drop montage for July. Whilst we did quite a variation of bosses, it was actually the more higher end bosses that gave us our driest PVM sessions, with Virago, ED2 and ED3 giving us only one drop for the whole month. RNG just wasn't with us, but we did also manage to finally get a 200% Telos kill, as well as a little Tuzzy pet, as well as some more progress on some collection logs and champion scrolls for Trim Completion Escape. I'm having fun learning how to push in rage and hopefully the warden title could be a goal I set for myself in the future. But back to thieving for now as we get 160 mil thieving XP. I was AFK and a bit too hard and missed 170 mil thieving because I was on RS mobile. But here's 180 mil thieving XP. And using thieving brawlers at the wilderness safes we were storming through our XP gains and it didn't take long for 190 mil thieving XP to follow soon after. Fast forward a few more hours and we're back at the Varric Fountains. With just over 11k XP needed for 200ml Thieving XP, we've got our Jack of Trades XP book and we're going to use that on Thieving. We've overshot the XP needed here a little, but it doesn't matter as we've now knocked off another 200ml skill on our road to 5.6 spill XP. And with double XP coming up, we're going to smash off another. So let's jump into Room Clan and see our gains for July. It's August the 1st and we're on Rune Clan to check our gains for the month of July. Our filter is set up and we've gained 143.4 mil XP this month, with the bulk of that coming from 91 mil thieving XP that we've gained throughout the video. We do see the usual slow gains in divination, woodcutting and runecrafting from our dailies, as well as of course our combat XP from the various bits of PVMing we do each month. You may also notice a slight spike in herb lore XP, and that is going to be our double XP skill of choice, as I now have begun preparing some of the potions we would need for the 89 mil herb lore XP required to finish the 200 mil. The timing couldn't actually be any more perfect, as I've somehow managed to deplete my whole supply of Elder and Supreme Overloads, a perfect excuse to spend 2 billion supplies to replenish the pile for PVM. I wanted to end this episode by just apologising for how late you may be seeing this episode on YouTube. But that thing that I was saying was damn worth it earlier in the video? Well, I just became a dad to the most beautiful girl and everything else is on the back burner for now. Luckily, I won't make you wait long for the next one, as that will be out straight after the XP live event has finished. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.